to November's Women Living Torah Challenge. Hi everyone, Raquel here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel all about enthusiastically and practically living out God's Word in your heart, home, and family. If you are new, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any videos when they come out about biblical living for women. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and joining me today. I am going to be giving you our five new challenges for the month of November to pursue biblical womanhood and to propel us toward godliness in our hearts, homes, and families. It's so important that we actually invest in our relationship with the Lord, and that we seek him about what it means to be a wise woman, about what it means to be a wife, a mother, a homemaker, and allow his word to begin changing us. And that's what these challenges are all about. They're about saying, Lord, conform me to your word. Change my life to reflect you. We'll do these challenges throughout the month together, and then we'll come back at the end of the month with a check-in video where you can share what your experience was like. Let's get into these five challenges. first challenge is to read Colossians chapter 3, the whole chapter. Now the latter half is going to say something specifically to wives, but the whole chapter applies to us. It's relevant to us. You know, unless scripture is speaking specifically to, you know, men or kings or priests, then we can assume that that is relevant to us and we can seek the Lord about how it can be applied to us. So the whole chapter is relevant, not just the part about wives. The second challenge is to memorize Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. This is one of my favorite Proverbs. We actually read it slash recite it every Friday evening over our children. I think it's a wonderful proverb to bless our children with and to pray over our children. So memorize that one this month. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Our third challenge is a prayer focus. Let's pray that the Lord would help us to find contentment and joy and to be fulfilled in our role as women. Um, whether our role is a wife or a mother or a homemaker or all three, whatever we're doing, maybe outside of the home for work or for community sake, you know, whatever our roles are, that the Lord would just help us to find contentment, fulfillment, and joy in that role and in our womanhood. Challenge number four is to put our hands to the proverbial plow and apply ourselves to learning or practicing a new skill. So maybe it's bread baking, sourdough bread baking that you've just, you've really wanted to learn how to do it, but you've just never done it. This is the month to apply yourself to that. Maybe you want to learn how to sew. Me. You want to sew better at least. I do some mending, but I really want to actually make some outfits. Um, maybe that's what you're going to apply yourself to this month. Or maybe it's to making music, you know, to practice the piano or the guitar or whatever, or your artwork. You know, just apply yourself to practicing a skill, whether it's one that you need to improve or whether it's a new skill that you've really wanted to work on, but you just never have gotten around to it. And then finally, challenge number five is to be where you are this month and to disconnect from your phone or any other thing in your life that you feel really distracts you from your husband, your children, your home, the things that are important to you, whatever that thing is that distracts you. For most of us, it is the cell phone and social media. I want you to disconnect from it for just two days, just two days this month. Disconnect from it and just be where you are. Now, if you have an addictive personality like me and you get off of social media for a couple of days, you might experience withdrawals where you're like irritable and just fidgety and stuff like that. So if you are anticipating something like that, I would maybe say push this to four days or five days or a week so that you can actually benefit from disconnecting from that distraction. There are your November Women Living Torah challenges. I'm really looking forward to doing these this month and also checking back in with you at the end of the month in a new video. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be joining me. Like this video if you're excited for it. And please share this video with a godly woman in your life who you think would enjoy these challenges also. I pray that God would bless all of you and keep you. I'm going to talk with you later. Bye-bye.